Hey, what is going on the YouTube? This is the Gamer Guy, and today I am bringing to an unboxing finally, as I think I've only done one this season so far, and then just opened the items that I've received or the items that I've copped just during drop list videos or different things like that. Today's video was meant to be a drop list video. However, I am waiting until we see the box logo or pictures from the San Francisco store before I cover the sort of drop list for this week because I don't know, I just prefer to wait. So as per norm, let me know down below whether your week seven or week eight items have arrived or if your palace items have arrived from week one or week two. If they have, what did you cop and are you going to be stocking, rocking or reselling whatever you picked up? But anyway, apart from that, let's unbox all of these and yeah, let's just get straight into it. Okay, so obviously these are going to be the items or the packages uh, for this unboxing. That's very plain and simple. I'm still terrible at unboxing pretty much anything. So fortunately, the first thing that we can just go over is a sticker pack that my brother gave me from all of his orders. So that's easy enough to show. Uh, so yeah, this is obviously from the uh, full tease week and there's not really a lot to say. I did buy a sticker pack, which probably wasn't my best uh, choice in the world, but it was a lot cheaper than all of the others that I'd seen out there. So I just decided to buy it. So. Okay, so the first package while the blinds move side to side is obviously going to be from Supreme. Uh, obviously they have stopped, these are great scissors. Obviously they have stopped the whole sending of a bag or of the plastic bags that they used to do. People say it's because they're preparing to like send out new bags and things. I just probably think it's like an environmental thing and they've just done that to do that, but you never know, it could just be one of the things that they've been told to stop doing. God, I'm still amazing at opening packages. Right, so firstly, sticker. It's plain and simple, really. And then my item from week seven, which is obviously the basket weave beanie in black. There isn't a lot to say about it, to be honest. I mean, I can put it up, but I think it's not really going to show a lot of it. Currently this season, for some reason, beanies are just a massive hit. I don't know whether it's because of the design or the style to them or just what in general, but a lot of beanies this season have just been massive hits and they have all just been selling out. So yeah, for example, I think this basket weave beanie is currently like 50 or 60 pounds which to me I find pretty insane for like a, a Supreme Beanie. At most times they don't really go up that much instantly, whereas a lot this season have been. Now I was going to rip this like straight out of its bag, but for the time being I'm just going to leave it be because I don't know whether I'm going to be wearing it or whether I'm going to be wearing one of the other beanies that I'm starting to like amass now. Okay, so next up is obviously going to be the Palace package, which has the most things included in it, or has the most items included in it overall. So hopefully this, no, scissors just aren't going to cut, so I'm just going to tear it as per norm. Right, so, geez, I ordered a lot. Oh, and my box is absolutely destroyed for the tight list. My tight list golf ball box is completely just demolished. Right, so I guess we'll kick things off with the beanie from Palace, being the uh, duck out beanie or the duck out themed beanie. Uh, yeah, there isn't a lot to say about this. I don't think it's even sold out, so it doesn't really bother me too much because it is a beanie that I'm going to be wearing at some point during the winter because the blue colour should match uh, like three or four blue pieces that I have uh, that are supreme, so yeah. There isn't a lot to say about it except for that. I think that's pretty cool and there isn't really too much to say. Uh, I should have probably gone for the black colorway because I want to get the black colorway in the duck out like knit sweater, but, but that's just my sort of issue at the end of the day and I should have probably gone for that, but unfortunately I've quickly just had to like switch sides or move around uh, just because of the pure fact that I don't know what it is about like the setting where I try and record that way. There's no light that's literally affecting the camera, but for some reason it just goes into crazy like autofocus. Trying to change like the brightness and everything, it tries to just completely focus on things that aren't even in its space. So I'm just going to switch here for this video until I like find a way to sort that out. But yes, the beanie, I want to get the duck out knit sweater uh, when that drops in the black colorway, so it probably would have been best to get the black colorway in that. 
But oh well. It says on here, uh, the road of excess leads to the palace of wisdom. So yeah, I think it's a pretty cool beanie. It's really decent, to be honest, as an overall. And I'm not really fussed if it hasn't sold out. So yeah. Right, next. Oh. Next, we'll go with the uh, duck out socks. Jeez, these are massive. Whoa. Um, so yeah, the duck out socks. I wanted them, they looked cool, or they looked cool in their like lookbook sort of thing. So yeah, that's pretty much why I wanted them and I think that they're pretty cool socks. They're going to be just like massive winter socks clearly for me. And that's why I've obviously got them. I definitely shouldn't have chosen the size that I did. Then again, it says large is nine to 12, which is what I am, but, or in that range, but still these look like really long for no reason. Oh. Next up we have the golf balls. As you can see, they did an amazing job at protecting these. You can hear the sarcasm in my voice, obviously. Because there are no golf balls in here, obviously I'm gonna have to do the box back up and redo it because it did not come that way, which is just amazing. That's not due to Palace, I'm guessing that's just due to UPS, but it's not really great when you want to keep something like that safe, and one of them is also chipped to hell. Yeah. Oh well. So, with these, these are obviously tight list Pro V1s. Um, the box should say, yeah, Pro V1 on that side. Uh, so obviously you have three different, uh, I think they're Bulldogs, I believe they were. Uh, that they have in like three different sort of colours and then on the back it says Palace. Obviously, I'll just put one up close like that. And yeah, there it is. So those are the golf balls which I can now put into the box. Uh, but yeah, I thought they would have possibly come like taped or something to keep them safe, but guessing that's being too optimistic, isn't it really? But they're the golf balls in the end. Uh, I'll probably try and get them so that they do then flatten down and go into a better sort of shape for the box. But it's pretty decent overall. They sold out quite quickly, I think, for Palace or on Palace. And they were reselling, or they are still reselling. So yeah, that is them. We then have this, which I'm guessing is just to return uh, your item, or if you've got anything to return, I think. Or it might be the sticker pack, actually, on that note. Which, okay, yeah, it's the sticker pack. So then we have the Palace sticker pack, which I might as well open, or attempt to open. And here are, they are stuck together. But here are all of those stickers in the end. So if I can get them all out, which would be great. But yeah, there they all are, I guess, is the way to go about it. Um, there are a couple of pieces that I was going to cop from Palace that I did like, but in the end I just left them be, purely just because of the fact that I lost the sort of interest or initial interest that I had in them, and I saw that I wouldn't really be wearing, you know, the, the pieces that I said at first that I'd be interested in wearing, so yeah. But there is the sticker pack at least, and last but not least, which comes in a cardboard box. They keep this safe, at least, but they don't keep the other stuff safe. Uh, this is obviously going to be the tray, which I think is still in stock. Probably wasn't the wisest purchase because I thought that it would be smaller. It'd be like a mini tray, but instead uh, it is a massive tray. Like just a, well, as you can see by the, like the just, this in general you can see that it's just a massive tray once i actually get it open it'd be great if i could right oh my oh my <laughs> okay so this is the palace tray i mean it's sturdy <laughs> i guess is the way to put it uh but yeah it is a just massive trifold tray which i suppose if you want to sit like accessories on or something it might work but yeah it's just a bit of a massive tray in the end it could probably be used for something cool or like like a novelty type thing but yeah that is it for the time being so at least I can sit my palace items in my palace tray and we can get on to the final item which is going to be the supreme the uh, lantern if I can find a way to open this box never cut towards yourself 
You watched me cut the lantern instead, accidentally. So we get a box logo sticker, at least. Um, and the lantern inside here. Oh, there's another box logo sticker that they've thrown in to be kind. Okay, so the hanging lantern comes like this. I was sort of expecting it to actually be out, but that might be just a stupid expectation. And oh God, this looks like one of those items that if I complete something just fell. <laughs> oh well, if I completely get it out and set up, it will be just destroyed or it won't be the same. But obviously you have the hanging section to it and then you have the lantern itself, which I am uh, stressed to say the least to actually get out properly and set up. I think I'm gonna leave this be for the time being and when I can actually get it out and set it up, then you'll see me doing that. But for the time being, this looks like I could completely just mess it up. So yeah, let's slide that back into the box and just put the things nicely back on top like that. But yeah, that is going to cover this um, boxing of things and just everything in general. Uh, I'm still a bit annoyed about this because why would you ship like a, a cardboard box or a small cardboard box like that? But oh well, I guess it happens. And yeah, that is pretty much everything for this unboxing. We've caught up now, or we have now caught up on everything and are looking forward to the next like 10 weeks or so of Supreme and Palace that there are going to be. So that is going to cover this video. If you enjoyed, like, be much appreciated. Other than that, I'll be bringing you to a drop list video tomorrow because obviously today is an unboxing and yeah. Thank you for watching and I will see you for that tomorrow. So yeah, peace.